everybody in this video i will show you how to downgrade your samsung galaxy grand duos to jelly bean 4.1 even if you have upgraded your phone to kitkat uh, android version 4.4 uh, by rooting your phone and follow the steps uh, over there even then you can actually downgrade your phone to uh, jelly bean 4.1 so uh, the step is actually pretty much simple the first and foremost thing is that you need to have your phone rooted please subscribe to my channel i have made a video how to root samsung galaxy grand duos so using that you can easily root your phone okay now uh, after that if you have uh, upgraded to kitkat 4.4 and your phone is not performing well or something like that you can easily downgrade it again to uh, jelly bean okay uh, so let me show you first of all in the description area in my youtube video you will see that there are two links uh, to be downloaded these two particular links so one is uh, Odin uh, version uh, 3.04 and another is uh, actually a .tar file which is being zipped over here that will be required to get uh, the phone uh, to be downgraded to Jelly Bean actually what I need to do is that at first I need to extract both the files so I am just hitting extract files over here uh, um, okay uh, yeah this, uh, this uh, sounds cool let me extract it over here Just give it some time because extraction will uh, take some time because there, um, the file is of a uh, larger property over here actually. Just be patient with me because it's the most important steps to be followed. Okay, it's almost done. Ninety percent. Okay, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Ah, yeah, it's done. Okay, now you can see that here. Now, the, the, this is a dot tar file over here. You can see actually just a sec. Yeah, here it is. Dot tar dot md5. This particular file. This will be needed. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Uh, so let me extract the Odin also over here. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's 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 easily done. Odin over here. Okay. Now now once it's done. What I need to do is that at first uh, I have to press the volume down, the power button and the home button at the same time. This is important. See, you may take a screenshot in the process, but do not worry. It won't affect it. Just keep on holding them at the same time till your screen becomes black and this particular screen comes. Okay, now it says volume up to continue. So I'm just pressing the volume up button okay now once uh, uh, you are here you just open the odin okay i'm opening it see over oh, odin version 3.0 let me just enlarge it to you uh, yeah odin version 3.04 so i'm just right clicking over here run as administrator uh, it will prompt me to that whether i want to run it or not i am hitting yes okay now odin is over here make sure there is auto reboot checkbox is checked this f dot reset time is checked rest of things the rest of the things do not need to be checked okay go to pda select this particular file you remember if i browse up you will see that inside jelly bean folder i have extracted this particular files and in this folder there is this dot tar file that i have showed you previously you just open that file okay sorry i have not selected it select and open the file it's over here now uh, you need to connect your phone using the data cable via your pc just connect it okay once it's connected uh, now now you will see over here it turns blue if it turns blue that means you have successfully installed samsung keys in your pc it is samsung k i e s if that installation is not properly done this will turn red so you need to install samsung keys at first Okay, now it's uh, blue, so I just hit uh, start over here. You need to give it some time because see, he will, here you will see the status, it, say, it says, uh, please wait. So you need to wait, do not unplug the cable. Just keep on waiting. Even in the screen you will see it says downloading, do not turn off the target. Just keep it that way and you need to have some, pay, uh, some patience over here. okay now you see the um, it's going on see over here 
over here in the, uh, at the top you will see that um, oh yeah yeah right right here you will see that the CSC the progress bar is going on okay so you will see the progress is going on over here and also even in the device if you check you will see that the download bar uh, here it is the download bar is going on so you have to give it some time actually both over here you just keep it uh, noted over there just give it some time and let the full process to be finished each and every process that is being uh, going through it is just highlighting over there there it says system so the system part of the phone is now being worked over there the progress will be a bit slow but be patient the entire system the back end of the phone is being worked upon right now and uh, the installation of jelly bean is being uh, going on inside your phone rom inside your phone bias and everything so obviously it will take some time because either you have upgraded your phone to a much more higher version maybe to kitkat or something else and now everything is being removed and a new installation of jelly bean is being done over there so of course it's taking some time it will take some time actually see the progress bar is showing also over here it's going on it ensures that your process is being correctly done okay now when the screen you see just a little bit left Come on, come on, let, let it end quickly. <laughs> we just hope that it ends quickly, but yeah, of course it will take its desired time. The control is beyond us actually over here. Okay, but the main thing is that it needs to be done properly and it should go ahead properly actually. Oh yeah. Now see the hidden file is being worked on, uh, worked upon. You will see the status changed from system to hidden. So the hidden parts of the phone, the OS are being worked upon right now. Almost done. Just a little more. Pass. Okay, that's it. It's your mission. So uh, the status says pass. I will hit the exit button over here it says exit okay and in your phone uh, see the progress is going on I just unplug the cable also slowly it doesn't matter you should allow your phone to restart this time actually allow your phone to restart not fully but yeah it should restart at, at least let it go to the Samsung screen yeah okay now as this particular screen comes you hit the volume up button the power key button and the home button at the same time the volume up remember not the volume down volume up so I'm just pressing them at the same time Okay, yeah. 
Yep. So once you are uh, in this in the BIOS of the phone, uh, you need to wipe the data and factory reset. You need to select that particular option. Over here, the touch phone works. You need to navigate using the volume up and down button and select using the power button. So I'm selecting wipe data factory reset. Uh, okay, no, it will ask confirm yes, delete all user data. So it says wiping data, formatting data. The status bar is also shown over here. Formatting data complete. So after wiping out the data factory reset, you need to wipe out the cache partition also. So I'm just navigating over here. Again, selecting wipe cache partition. It says cache wipe partition complete. So I just need to reboot the system now. Over top, it says reboot system now. I'm just selecting it. Okay, now once the phone is being rebooted, uh, you are actually done with uh, downgrading to Jelly Bean 4.1. Uh, your phone may take 8 to 10 minutes of time to start for the first time because for the very first time again it will again read the jelly bean and will open the phone in that manner so at that first it may take some time you can be patient also over here because rest of the steps it's pretty much simple okay once you have given time yeah i think you are much quite familiar with this uh, particular screen it ensures that jelly bean is being Install okay. I'm selling English United States. I'm going next. Turning Wi Fi on if you are in a Wi Fi region, you just need to have a Wi Fi. Okay, it's asking me for the password, so I should give the password just now. Okay. Okay, now the password has been given. Okay, it's just connect. It says connected to my Wi-Fi network. It's uh, done. So I just uh, select next. Automatic update, update, and time. Yeah, of course, it should be done. Uh, Samsung account. I guess you uh, you also will have your own uh, Samsung account. So I also have it. So I'm just logging in over there. just a minute I'm just logging in I'm just so uh, just for security purpose I'm just uh, for moved it over there from there but yeah of course just a minute okay yeah I have given my password and now it says in progress oh sorry I've given a long a wrong username just a sec. Okay, I've given my username and password again and it says signing in. As you can see the Samsung account. Okay, signed in. Do you have a Google account if you use, use your Gmail? Yeah, of course I have a Google account. You are, you are also quite familiar with these steps. Again, I have to give my email ID and password. So let me give it. Okay, now let me give my password. Okay, okay, by signing in, you're agreeing to Google Terms and all. Yeah, of course, I'm agreeing to it. So, okay, signing in, this may take a few minutes. I guess you are quite familiar with these steps, <laughs> of course, you are. <laughs> okay, it says set up credit card. No, uh, not now. I can set it up later on. These are backup and restore option. Of course, they should be checked and all. Your phone is contacting Google to restore your account. This can take a while. Of course, it can take a while because I've used my phone to backup using my previous ID. So it will backup all the data and everything, stuff like that from the um, account actually. So of course, give it some time. The Wi-Fi is connected. So it will use your Wi-Fi wi connection only. It's just that it's pretty simple, straightforward process. It just takes time, so be patient with it, be careful with it, and just go along. Okay, I guess yeah, of course it's done. Uh, pretty basic things actually. Just a sec. Okay, Dropbox. Uh, I can actually uh, add my Dropbox account later, so not to worry over there. No thanks. I'm just giving it. 
enable easy mode setup yeah you can you can uh, you can enable easy mode setup no, no props with that normal is finished okay just a sec uh, why should i enable easy mode, enable easy mode setup uh, we are actually quite familiar with everything okay now it says update samsung account uh, i should uh, update it later on just to see that yeah as you can see yes it is jelly bean of course it's jelly bean you are quite familiar with these i guess yourself also so i'm just uh okay just a moment let me verify it uh where is the settings here it is let me i'm going to settings after that about device and see the android version it's 4.1.2 so that means you have successfully downgraded your phone to android 4.1.2 that is jelly bean uh so that's it that's it guys please like my video subscribe to my channel and of course if there is any problem please feel free to ask queries over here and watch the video carefully subscribe to my channel that's it thank you guys